10 of my Japanese koi were missing. Very easy for these rubbers to just get inside and get all my fishes. So this is it. There are 1,500. Their health is really perfect. Hi guys, good morning. I am really dismayed today because some rubbers just got inside here and took all my breeder goldfish. I am really dismayed. And in fact, I was really disappointed because these guys have been just roaming around yesterday and I already have suspects who got all my fishes. I have told you in my earlier video that we will breed our goldfish they are adult ones some of them are eight months and the others are already one year old and they are really very ripe for breeding we'll give them live food for them to be ready to lay eggs and that's what we gonna do for this week but only to realize that all these breeder goldfish were rough and I don't know but life must go on. Life must go on. Sometimes we feel like this. We are disappointed. We experience troubles, sadness in life, disappointments. But this will not control us because life must go on. And it will make us more matured. Our trials and circumstances will make us more clever and mature. So anyway, that uh, fishes are dear to me because I have selected all these breeder goldfish as I have shown to you in last video. I'm so hurt actually. And these people who rob us are monitoring our fishes through our videos in the YouTube. So they're also high tech. But anyway, life must go on as what I have said. And today I would like to honor the following persons you know last video we had a visit with Mei Mei my client if you haven't seen that video may I ask you to just uh, look at this video out of that video we were able to outsource some funds from Kijel Suderlund we also have Crystal Perez Victoria Gardner we have Stan Watt Rosemary West Toderia Lenuta hey man thank you and Carlos Druitt they sent us help for Mimi so we will have another video update of that on this coming saturday that's my promise to you guys and thank you so much for your support and uh, rest assured that this will really help the needs of may may so i'm planning to buy a television out of your funds and also i'm planning to have diapers for may may to really maintain the sanitation but for the meantime I promise you that I will really continue on breeding this uh, ornamental fishes and as you can see I have developed my place and I just pray that I can make a good fence because my fence is just made of bamboo and very easy for these rubbers to just get inside and get all my fishes 10 of my Japanese koi were missing so maybe the same person did that and they did not do that in one occasion only because uh, that cannot be done and maybe they were do this frequently during those I'd like to tell you guys we already have the CCTV camera and your identity will really be known if you will do that again I already have made a blotter in the police station in the police precinct and watch out guys if I can identify you of course I will make some necessary action for this 
So these plants are good for our koi fish because they contain spirulina and this is so natural. But for the meantime, allow me to just give you an update about our Calico Fry. I've been telling you that I did not use air pump, I only use plants and I'm draining the water. But they are really big now that I realize that they need some filtration. Just allow me to give an update on this. Please come on. You will see how I improvised a filtration system on that very shallow pen. Okay, come on, let's go. So guys, this is the update that I am I'm telling you right now. They are just less than a month. You can compare the time that we placed them here, we loaded them here. They were just as tiny as this and uh, today they are really big. And there are about 1,600 of them that are here. So I observed that this no air pump, no filtration system is good only if the goldfishes are just at the age of one to three weeks. You can continue with the system, but as they grow old, they become congested. And once they are congested, they cannot digest the food so well. That is why I said that I made an improvised filter box for them. So this is my submersible pump and uh, I use this container, water container like this. Okay. So I will show to you how did I make it. So this is it. This submersible pump is uh, 40 watts and I am um, putting this inside this water container and this water container have so many tiny holes so that the water can come in and this serves as the strainer that the goldfishes will not be sucked inside and this serves as the protection for this tiny goldfish you look at them there are so plenty okay there are 1500 pieces of them are here and uh, I am glad that there are no casualties actually their health is really perfect I must tell you that they need now our filter box our submersible pump they're so hungry now you look at them and still I'm giving them live food I gave them mosquito larva this filter box will siphon the water and will pass through here so what's inside in this filter box I have here here inside a sponge okay this sponge will filter the dirt the dirt of this fish pond the reason for this is because they're already congested and we have to supplement them with oxygen So I'm giving, once again, their breakfast. This is live food. This is the mosquito larva. They are here to eat their breakfast. Come on. And I'd like to share also the importance of these plants. We call this Azula here in our place. I don't know what's the English of this. And those of you who know what is the name of this plant in English, you can also make a comment. Please help me. Uh, but this is called Azula. Come on, you eat your breakfast. Come on. I prefer to give them this mosquito larva than the tube effects worm because I believe that tube effects is best for our koi and our flower horns. Wow. So look at this. They have different their sizes vary. Okay. okay. But they have good tails. We have done already a culling when they were smaller but still there are deformed tails and bodies here some of them are blind only one eye one eye goldfish this is an encouragement that I can share to all of you those who are fish blabbers you can engage in this business and uh, I hope you like 
and share our videos. And once again, thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for your subscription. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, may I ask you to please do subscribe because our intention in making this channel is to also help other people. We can help, we can give tips to other people, and we can also share our blessings to people who are less, who have less in life. Okay, so thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe only here at Dexter's World.